The Wild Card Series is behind us and now eight teams are competing to chase down the World Series title. Good evening everyone and welcome back to Penn State Sports Night. I'm your host Destiny Sanchez alongside Andrew Kalb and Zach Gershman. Tonight we will be discussing last week's Wild Card Race and this week's Division Series. Starting pitching can be key to success with any team. I'll start with you Andrew. Which starting pitchers do you think will dominate this week and which pitchers may fold under pressure? Yeah, with a few low scoring games in the wild card, there's no doubt that starting pitching is going to be a key to success in this division series. But the one pitcher I think is going to dominate yet again is Garrett Cole. He had an amazing first start with the Yankees, throwing for seven innings and recording 13 strikeouts. And the one pitcher I think is going to fold under pressure is Clayton Kershaw. He had a good start versus the Brewers, but he takes on the Padres. The Padres are a lot better team than the Brewers are. And you know, Kershaw, we could always pencil him in for a bad start in the playoffs. Very typical for Kershaw to somewhat fail in the playoffs. He kind of does not have that clutch gene. My dominant pick is Sixto Sanchez of the Miami Marlins. 22-year-old stud. Absolute stud, throws many fastballs, averages around 98.3 miles per hour, threw a couple over 100 last week's, in last week's wildcard series. There's a reason why the Phillies signed him at 16 years old. The kid is an absolute stud, throws incredible stuff. The player, the player I think, the pitcher I think, that will underperform this week has to be Blake Snell of the Tampa Bay Rays. The Yankees are coming in hot. They wanna win. They wanna hit the ball hard. And if the Yankees take away Snell's slider and make him only throw fastballs, the Yankees hit Snell 20% more better than any other team in the Major League Baseball. So I think the person who will fail this week and will underperform this week will be Blake Snell. The Yankees pulled through against the Indians on Wednesday in the ninth inning to win the wild card race. The Rays and the Yankees will now face off in a best of five series. Tampa Bay dominated New York in the regular season, but how, with how the Yankees played last week, do you think it's anyone's game now we're in October? Yeah, Dustin, you said it. The Rays dominated the Yankees in the regular season, eight out of 10. They're also a reason why they're the number one seed you know, with a 40 and 20 record. Despite Blake Snell's underperformance, which I predict for game one, I do think that the Rays are going to win this series. There's a lot of animosity between these two teams dating all the way back to the regular season. Incredibly close, but I would have to give it to the Rays. Yeah, like you mentioned, and the Rays had an amazing regular season, especially versus the Yankees, but playoff baseball is a whole different game. The Yankees have a lot more playoff experience in this Rays team, and that can go a long way in a series like this. Like you mentioned before, these two teams don't like each other at all. So I think it's going to be the best division series of them all, and I think the Yankees come out in four or five games. With one of the biggest underdog stories in years, the six-seeded Marlins now face the second-seeded Braves. Will this matchup be a slugfest or a pitching duel? Yeah, I think this matchup will definitely be more of a slugfest than a pitcher's duel. When you look at it, Sixo Sanchez and Max Reed, they had good starts in the wild card, but I think they regressed this, this series after playing uh, pretty weak opponents in the first round. They have better opponents to play against now. And with the Braves lineup with stars like Acuna and Albies and MVP Freddie Freeman, and I think they're going to put up a lot of runs and beat the Marlins with ease. Yeah, I would agree with you. Obviously, I picked six, though, as my dominant pitcher performance. Max Fried, really good pitcher. You can't forget, though, about Sandy Alcantara and Ian Anderson from the Braves. Through, Ian Anderson had a dominant playoff debut this past week also. Through six scoreless innings, nine strikeouts, only gave up two hits. Dominant performance on his end as well. Although I do think the first two games are going to be more a pitcher's duel, the latter, ha the latter half of the series is going to be up to the hitters. You have MV Free, Freddie Freeman. He's leading the team. He had a walk-off hit, a walk-off run in, uh, in the playoffs this past week. I do think that the latter half of the series will be for in the Braves' favor in terms of hitting, but it will be a pitching duel. With the World Series right around the corner, what are your predictions between the division series and which team do you feel will advance to the championship? This has to be one of the best division series in recent memory. I mean, we're still young, but I have to say in recent memory, this is one of the best series we've seen. I am going to say, I already said that the Rays are going to win. The Athletics, we already know how game one ended for them. Astros came back after leading 3-0. Or after losing 3-0, Astros came back, beat the A's 10-5. If the A's can hold off the Astros and hold off their hitters, I think the Athletics will advance and it'll be a Rays versus Athletics 1-2 matchup. In the NL side, I do think the Dodgers are going to advance. They're, they're an incredible team. The, the Padres are not nobody to sniff at. They're, they're also a really good team. I do think, though, that the Dodgers are going to advance. 
And with the Braves and the Marlins, it's a very, you know, it's, it's one of those series where either team can advance. That's how October is. The Marlins have had a historical run so far, and whenever they've been in the playoffs, they have not lost. They have a perfect history entering the playoffs. I think that continues Marlins' advance. Wow, okay. Well, I think that these divisional matchups, like you mentioned before, they're going to be a lot of fun to watch. The best divisional series we've probably seen in a while. But I do think the Yankees outbeat the Rays. They, come, uh, they had a bad regular season versus them, but, you know, playoff Yankees, a lot, a bit different animal. The Astros, I do think they will beat the A's. I mean, they won game one. I think they could easily sweep them at this point. Losing Matt Chapman is a tough hit to the team. And then for the Dodgers, I think they'll beat the Padres, but it'll be a lot closer than a lot of people think. Mm -hmm. They breeze through the Brewers, but the Padres are going to be five games I think they take it to. And then the Marlins and the Braves, I think the Braves sweep the Marlins, man. I mean, they, had good, they have good playoff history, but the Braves are a lot better team. It'll be very interesting to see how the Division Series matchup plays out. Thank you for tuning in to this edition of Penn State Sports Night. For Andrew Kelb and Zach Gershman, I'm Destiny Sanchez, and we'll see you next week. Thank you for watching this edition of Penn State Sports Night. If you're a fan of our content, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more clips. Also, follow us on Twitter at PSSN TV and on Instagram at PSU Sports Night to keep up with all the action. For all my colleagues, we are Penn State Sports Night.